my team, I hope you're all well. Today I'm going to be doing a video that's been inspired by one of my patrons. Um, it was either one of my patrons or one of Jade's or one of Pris's. Uh, basically for the next final book support group readathon, people have asked for a bingo board with some prompts. Um, now, personally, I won't be using the bingo board, I don't think, because uh, for me, the final book support group means to try and focus on final books during those readathons and then through the rest of the year, you know, getting through series in general. But for some people, I understand that they would prefer something that kind of narrows it down a little bit more and gives them a prompt, something to aim for. So, I totally get that. I am doing a very vague bingo board. However, one of the prompts that was recommended by my patrons or Chris's patrons or Jade's patrons because we were all on sprints the other night and I basically asked them for some some prompts that they would want to see basically on the bingo board seeing as it's kind of coming from the community that they want the bingo board so I was like what kind of prompts would you like to see because prompts I'm coming up with are incredibly vague so what kind of things would you like to see and someone recommended a Steph's fave so a little bit like Cassidy's got you know, Toast to the Goddess um, for Realmathon. Very similar to that, but essentially it's a Steph fave. So I was trying to come up with a board of some of my favourite series, and it turns out that I've read a whole heckin' ton of series that I really, really enjoyed. So I thought that I would make a whole video, because why not? It'd be rude not to, right? So I'm here to tell you about some of my favourite series. Now, Couple of things to mention before I get into this. This will only be series that I've completed or I'm up to date with. So for example, you can see the bone season right here. I haven't completed this series yet. I'm not up to date. Um, I haven't read The Mass Fallen. So although this is one of my favorite series, I can't add it because I haven't, I'm not up to date, you know? Uh, similarly, you might be able to see up here, Aurora, Rising and an Aurora Burning and Aurora's End. I haven't read Aurora's End yet. So another one of my favourite series, but I haven't finished it yet. So um, I can only pick series that I've finished. <laughs> uh, so yeah, these are all series that I'm up to date with or have finished. Similarly, these will be split up into complete series. So series that have finished. They will be split up into series that are still ongoing but obviously I'm up to date with. They'll be split up into graphic novels and they will be split up into companion novels as well because uh, one of the other prompts associates with that because I am a sucker for a companion novel series as well and I see that as a series. So we'll be doing a mix of all of them um, and we're going to start off with complete series because I'm holding one in my hands and it's relatively heavy. So let's get straight into it. These series are in no particular order. So don't be thinking that this is my favourite series of all time. It's not. It's in no particular order. I just, I'm holding this series for the thumbnail. Um, but the series that I am holding is the Stalking Jack the Ripper series by Kerry Maniscalco. I love this series. I think I gave everything five stars except for Escaping from Houdini, which I gave four stars. But I love the whole series. I love Carrie's writing style. I love everything that goes on in here. This is historical fiction. Um, I can't remember now off the top of my head because it's been a hot minute since I read them if there's an element of fantasy in here or not. I don't think there is but um, it's historical fiction and it's honestly fantastic and I love the main two characters in here. I just love their vibe. There is a romance in here as well and I just think that it's great and I really really enjoy it so I would highly recommend. Battery died so sorry if the angle changed. <laughs> standard. Um, next I have the Amelia Fang series which is a nice cute short series, it's middle grade and it's adorable following Amelia Fang who is a vampire and her you know nightly otherworldly creature friends and family and it's absolutely adorable. I am obsessed with this series, you could binge this like this will be the perfect bingeable series if you have them all or you've started it and you've not finished it off. This is the perfect bingeable series because it's so freaking fast. Also, I do recommend the audiobooks. Like I'm a sucker for an audiobook. Normally I wouldn't read a book this short via audio, but they were so good. I managed to get them all from my library and I really enjoyed them. So the narrator is fantastic. She does such a good job. Um, but I would recommend the Amelia Fang series. 
Another middle grade series that I would recommend is a Gav favourite and it is Frost Heart by Jamie Littler. I adore this series, it's so good. This was a five star series for me and I absolutely loved it. This is a huge favourite of mine so I would recommend. There are beautiful illustrations, these are the gorgeous Waterstones editions and uh, there are gorgeous illustrations all the way through the book. Jamie Littler has written and illustrated the whole thing himself and it's just brilliant and I would highly recommend. Again, very bingeable series, would recommend. One of my favourite series of all time, if you've been here for a while you will know this is one of my favourite series of all time since I read it for the first time. I think I've reread it about three or four times and I love it so much. Is The Illuminate Files by J. Christoph and Amy Kaufman. This is such a good series. The audiobooks are fantastic if you're gonna read it. I would recommend listening to the audiobooks while following along with the book because they are do have multimedia. So um, there are like transcripts in here, there are interviews with people, there are conversations between an AI and a person. There is all sorts going on and it's just fantastic and I really love this series. A five star series for me, my favourite being Gemini, but I love the whole series and I would highly recommend. Uh, another one of my favourites that I wasn't expecting to be a favourite but I absolutely adored and it was a recommendation from Jade is the Villain series by V. Schwab, Vicious and Vengeful. This is a duology so again very bingeable, very quick to get through, the chapters are sh so short in here. I would recommend, absolutely brilliant series, um, it's about extraordinaries and it's all sci-fi and fantastical and I absolutely adored it so I would 100% recommend five star reads from me again very very favorite series another one that I wasn't fully expecting to completely love but again I did because of a mix of people really but G, Cody, Becca, Jade I, they've all loved this series 100% so it is Miss Bourne trilogy by Brandon Sanderson this is Miss Bourne era one and I absolutely adored this series I think I gave all of these books five stars I absolutely loved them the ending to this series though Oh, it shook me. I am obsessed with this series. It's great. I would love a reread of it, to be fair, at some point, because I absolutely adored it. Not as fussed about Miss Bourne 2. I'm halfway through the second book in Miss Bourne 2 and have been for about two months now. I just cannot bring myself to finish it. So not as fussed about that one, but this one, highly recommend. One of my favourites, I reckon underrated series, but it has been around a little bit, just maybe not so much anymore because it is an older series, is the Lunar Chronicles series. I loved this series. I know it's not everybody's cup of tea, but I thought it was fantastic. I loved the uh, very sci-fi way of doing a retelling, the retellings on these, and I love the way that they um go from being like a twosome to like a foursome to like a sixsome to like an eightsome and just you know all end up banding and coming together and i do love that and the found family business side of it as well I, it's something that i actually love in illuminate illuminate as well we're following two different characters each time but slowly but surely the inter the characters become integrated in each other's lives for reasons um, and that's similar thing that to what happens in these books as well and i absolutely love them including the um short story collections as well so i absolutely absolutely love this series I think the whole series maybe other than one or two books was like a five star series for me so absolutely loved it the books that weren't five star were four so one of my favorite series of all time and I have these really gorgeous editions as well so love this series listen I know this is going to cause a bit of a ruckus but this is like what Jade would call like a burger like a cheeseburger series so you know like a proper guilty pleasure very fast but very entertaining um book series folk of air series i actually really really enjoy this series i do want to reread this this year if i can get chance to get to it because i obviously haven't read them since queen of nothing came out which was a while ago now was it 2019 or was it not that long ago Oh shit, it was 2019. So it's been a hot minute since I've picked these up. I did read um, How the King of Elfheim Learn to Hate Stories and again, really enjoyed this. I think I actually gave all of these books five stars. I really enjoyed them. They are pure trash, but I loved them. They're such escapism and, you know, really fast reads. And if you just want something dead simple, dead fast, dead, you know, just Moorish in the moment that you may just completely fucking empty your head and forget about once you've finished it. But you enjoy it in the moment so fucking much. This is a really great series for that and I would highly recommend. 
Obviously this video wouldn't be complete if I didn't include the Akata series. I do also have a coat of Silver Flames on here because it is part of the series. Um, albeit some time has passed. Not much actually I don't think but I love this series. I've given them all, maybe except for a coat of Frost and Starlight, but I've given them all five stars and I absolutely adore it. Yes, these are very different covers than what you're used to. They are... I can't remember where the fuck I got them from. I'm not gonna lie, but they're beautiful and I love them, so I would recommend this series. Five star read from me. It is a favourite, so you could pick this one if you're halfway through, get it finished. I would recommend. Okay, so tell me that you're looking for an indie published um adult vampire series because i have one for you i think i gave every single book in this series five stars again been a hot minute since i've read these but i loved this freaking series and i think i've mentioned it a few times but not much especially not recently because i haven't read much from this author recently i do have many books to catch up on but i've just not been making them a priority because physically reading has been a challenge for me but the series i'm on about is the solace in victory series by josie jaffrey starting with a bargain in silver this is such a great series and it is indie published by josie and i would highly recommend it's very good very steamy i loved the plot as well as the romance in here it was great the writing style is fantastic i just really really loved it very british i would highly recommend this series it's very very good i gave them all five stars next up is a trilogy that i don't currently have the first book for because i am getting the hardback off a wonderful wonderful friend of mine uh, soon but it's not yet arrived but it is the devabad trilogy by sa chakraborty i didn't think again that i was going to like this you know political fantasy bits of war in it i just didn't think it would be up my street again this was my pre political fantasy war etc fantasy 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 stage uh, it turns out i love political fantasy and war so who the fuck knew not me uh but i love this series it was fantastic i adored it so much it gave me so many aladdin vibes i just was obsessed it was great and i really really loved it and i would highly recommend it again five star reads from me so one of my favorites obviously it's on this list ah speaking of political fantasy and war <laughs> we have the great coats by sebastian de castell again another jade influence um which i am not sorry for in the slightest this series is hilarious but also incredibly dark and violent be wary going in in many 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 trigger warnings but one of the best series i've ever read in fantasy this is one of my all-time favorite fantasy series 100 percent with night shadow book two being my favorite in the series and it was my favorite book of last year uh this series is fantastic and i would highly recommend it but just be wary lots of trigger warnings for lots of different things do be careful going into it but it's fantastic hilarious the audiobook is outstanding joe jo jameson does a great job of making sure that each of these characters has their very own personality and it just shines through every single time he opens his mouth he is outstanding and i will listen to anything he does ever ever again he's magnificent i love him this isn't a joe jameson shout out though uh but yeah this series would recommend five star for every single book and then the books for these ones that I am going to mention are over there behind my umbrella light and this camera tripod. So I'm not going to go and get them, but I will mention them and show them on screen. Um, so the first one that I am going to mention is the I Heart series by Lindsay Kelk. This is a romance series containing one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight books. I thought it was seven eight books um it is like women's fiction rather than like it's got romance in it but it's not smutty it's more like women's fiction and it's really really good i loved it i haven't read it for a few years but i absolutely love this series it's fantastic it was all a five star series for me so i thought i better mention it in this um video we also have the Brown Sister series by Talia Hibbert. I absolutely love this series. All of these books are five stars for me, but Danny Brown is my favourite because I am in love with both Danny Brown and Zaf. But I absolutely adore this series and I cannot wait for the spin off series that's coming off from this one following Montrose and his sisters. It's going to be so, so good. So I'm very excited indeed for that one. But five stars across the board for this series. And then obviously the To All the Boys I've Loved Before series as well by Jenny Han. I adore 
the series. I love the movies. I just literally don't care. I love them all. It's amazing. I'm obsessed. Um, it holds a very special place in my heart because I just thought it was adorable. So I would recommend that one as well. Five stars across the board for that one too. And then a couple of series. I'm aware that I just did the Akatar series, which is an ongoing series. My bad. Um, but a couple of series that I have gotten up to date with that are still ongoing are uh, the uh, the bromance book club series so i love this series by lissa k adams it's absolutely fantastic i am completely up to date with it but there's a new book coming out soon which is a christmas one i cannot wait i adore this series so so much basically it is romance but flip it on its head because it's men reading romance books to try and help them out with the women in their life and i absolutely love it i love this series i think all of the books have been five stars from me it's just fantastic so i would recommend ironically enough i think that's the only series that i'm up to date with that's still ongoing off the top of my head um so some companion novel series and then we'll get on to the graphic novels that i have recommendations for you for um so so companion novel series we have the friend zone series by abby jimenez so we have the friend zone the happy ever after playlist and life's too short i love this series i actually went into this series by reading the happy ever after playlist first i didn't realize that it is part of a series and i thought it would be one of those where you can read them out of order and it doesn't really affect anything but it does massively so if you're going to read this one make sure that you do read it in order the friend zone the happy ever after playlist and life's too short because the main character in the happy ever after playlist her entire story is built up in the friend zone her entire entire story so you will spoil yourself massively by reading the second book first so do please make sure that if you're going to pick this one up you read the friend zone first it's vital vital i would almost say this isn't necessarily a companion series it's literally a series you're just following different characters which i know is like the definition of a companion series but it affects the second book that much that you have to read the first one just bear with me on this one and just listen to me you know five star read for all of them absolutely love them they're fantastic <laughs> Then we have the Hot and Hammered series by Tessa Bailey. So we've got Fix Her Up, uh, Love Her or Lose Her, and also Tools of Engagement. I loved these books so much. The second one, not as much as the first one and the third one. I think I gave the second one four stars, but I loved the first one because it's fake dating, and the second one because it was... Um, like forbidden romance a little bit and i just really really loved it. it i thought it was fantastic the second one is a second chance romance in a marriage but i just didn't vibe with the characters as much but i did still really really enjoy it love tessa bailey's writing style and i would recommend the series it's fantastic so very 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 smutty i've read fix her up like three times it's great <laughs> So then for graphic novels, I have a whole bunch here. So I do have a Heartstopper, which the whole series I'm up to date with. I absolutely love this series. If I ever need something light and fluffy to give a quick read of, I do pick this series up. It's adorable and I'm very excited to see the adaptation for this one this month as well. So would recommend this one. Then I have The Sad Ghost Club by Lizzie Meddins. I've read both the first and second one of this one, obviously, otherwise I won't be recommending it. Both of them were five star. I really, really love this series. I relate so much to this because it deals with anxiety and depression and it's just very, very relatable for me, but I just really, really love it. And I actually think it would be great for people as well who don't necessarily suffer with depression or anxiety, but have people in their lives that do because I think you could learn a lot from these books as well. It might help you try and, you know, help your friends along or family along a little bit better as well and be um you know more understanding of their situation a little bit more i know it can be difficult for people who don't struggle with these things to try and help people along that do so um i would recommend this one it's fantastic then i have the tea dragon society by k o'neill i did read the tea dragon tapestry was it during, I think, it, I'm fairly certain it was during the last readathon for Final Book Support Group because I love this series. Um, it's absolutely adorable. I would highly recommend. It's just, the illustrations are gorgeous and it's so, so adorable. Um, so would recommend this one. Then if you wanted a little bit of horror in your life, I would recommend the Lock and Key series by Joe Hill and 
Gabriel Rodriguez. This is such a great series. I actually kind of want to reread it soon because I haven't read it for a while. It's probably been a couple years since I finished the series. But I basically binged the series. It was fantastic. Very creepy. Very eerie. I haven't seen the TV show yet, but I really want to watch it. But I really, really enjoyed this one. So I would recommend this one for those of you that love your horror or want to dip your toe into horror. This is a great way of doing it. It's not too horrific, but it is a little bit creepy. So would recommend. And then for those of you that want to get into your sci-fi graphic novels, I do have Descender, but also Ascender as well. So read the Descender series first because Ascender follows on from this series just several years later. Um, but I really enjoyed both of these series. I think I gave all of the graphic novels in both of these series five or four stars and I would highly recommend both of them. I think Ascender is still ongoing at the moment but Descender has finished but I'm up to date with Ascender anyway so would highly recommend these two. And then for those of you that would like to combine your sci-fi with fantasy, I have Saga. Um, this is such a good series. Another one that I would really, really like to reread. I think I gave every single volume of this five stars. Currently up to volume nine. Yes, and impatiently waiting for volume 10. So, you know, Brian, if you could step on it, that would be great. Um, but <laughs> I love this series incredibly adult uh relatively pornographic literally like on the second page there are boobs and a woman giving birth so i would highly recommend it though it's fantastic outstanding loved it amazing five stars so i'm fairly certain that that's everything there was like all of my off the top of my head i am looking at all of my shelves and this is where i'm up to because there are some series that are still not finished that I would possibly put on here but I haven't finished them yet so I don't want to say they're my favourite because the last book could destroy it. For example, Ark of the Scythe series, I thought the Scythe, I gave it four stars, I gave Thunderhead five stars and then the Toll got two and it destroyed the whole thing for me. So, you know, I don't like to say that a series is my favourite series unless I'm either up to date or I finished it. So I don't want to recommend other series that I'm not quite up to date with just yet because the last book that I, in that series or the last book that's up to date could destroy the whole thing for me and I might never carry on with the series. It's happened before. It'll happen again. So um, those are all of the books that are my favourites. So if you've come back to reference this video to get a Steph fave, I hope you find one in here. Um, or if not, I hope you find one that you're interested in that you wouldn't mind picking up. So yeah, I hope that you have enjoyed this video. Let me know in the comments down below if you've read any of these or if I, this video has helped push you pick one of these up. Or if you're planning on doing the Steph fave prompt for um final book support group let me know which one you decide to go for because i'm really intrigued to see what you're picking up and i shall see you in the next video bye for now